Well, I think I'd like to begin by saying what right to work is not. It absolutely is not an employee rights bill. It does nothing to benefit employees and give them greater rights or better decision making whether they want to decide to join a union or not. And it certainly is not a jobs bill of which the Republicans are calling their number one priority this year. This does nothing to do anything for jobs that pay decent wages, but decent benefits that help to grow communities when those dollars uh, are used within those communities. It's so simple, right to work. You know, that's the misleading part, but consistently it's been shown by studies in the 22 states that are now right to work. What it actually does, right to work lowers wages. The, the range that they say that it will uh, lower wages, and this is done from actual investigation surveys, reports by professors that have taken as many as let's say 47 economic indicators. What it shows consistently is that it will lower everyone's wages somewhere between the area of $1,500 and $5,500 a year for all working Hoosiers. It's a bill that's designed, let's just be honest, tell the truth, it's a bill designed to destroy unions. It's a bill that because of destroying unions, you're gonna lower the wages of all working Hoosiers, middle class, it's, it's an outright war on the middle class. And it's intended to put many more dollars in the pockets of large business interests. And it really removes the generations of work that many people have put so much time and tears and in some cases their lives putting together things that have made our society better and they want to strip that away. The right to work is bad, especially right now for Indiana, always bad for Indiana. You still have over 200,000 people that are unemployed in the state of Indiana. This is not a time to take on a chance and tell people that this is going to be a job bill. Why would they want to take such a risk? They say that Indiana is fifth in the nation for its ability to, to attract jobs. Where do we think the extra jobs are going to come from? If they come from China, obviously that means lower wages, a lot lower wages. What does that do for our community? Nothing. We have probably at least 50, 50 amendments filed for second reading on House Bill 1001. One of those amendments is for a referendum. You know what? It's, it's been proven by a nonpartisan poll that as much as 50% of the public does not know what right to work is. So at this point, since the Republicans did not run off this in election, they did not showcase their right to work special to try to describe what it is and give people the chance to learn, let's just take it to the people. For this one, let the people decide. Let them choose for themselves. Is right to work good or is right to work bad? We can live with that, can they?